everyone, welcome back. Hope you're all having an awesome Thursday. I'm Stacy, and this is the For Bricks and Giggles YouTube channel. For today's video, I have one of my all-time favorite sets, and possibly my all-time favorite Belleville set. The Royal Crystal Palace set 5850 from 2002. So stick around to the end to hear my review, and let's get started. So here we have the completed build, and like I said, this is one of my all-time favorite sets. Actually, this set came out in 2002. I did not get it until I was an adult. I didn't get my first Belleville set until Christmas of 2003, and I believe at that point this set was already discontinued, and that was the little flower sets, if you're familiar with those, the fairy flower sets, which were some great ones and really instigated my love of the Belleville theme. So I got those in 2003. I had missed out on this set. I remember for years looking at this set on eBay wanting to buy it, but it goes for crazy large money. And so when I discovered Bricklink in 2017, one of the first things I did was part this set out. I had gotten the base plate for this set as well as the base plate for the large summer set that's similar to this but more summery looking in a bulk lot purchase and they had a few of the pieces from each of those sets but not a lot and I decided to try and part it out on Bricklink and buy it from someone who already had parts from the set and that's honestly the only way I found it to be possible and remotely affordable was to do it like that. And so I found two or three different sellers who had obviously had big portions of this set but not all of it and I completed it by purchasing through them. I'm not sure how much I saved but a, a good chunk and since I already had the base plates which is probably one of the more expensive things at least to ship it made it a little cheaper there so I definitely was able to part it out for cheaper than what it was currently going for but I've been obsessed with this set since it came out in 2002 and I can't believe that next year it will be 20 years old so this set is getting on up there I can't believe it but one of my all-time favorite sets I don't know what it is about this set that I love so much, but it's got some really cool, unique parts like most Belleville sets, a lot of one-of-a-kind or very rare parts or parts in rare colors. So I think first and foremost, it's just a beautiful display set. These are very unique base plates. I think they only come in three sets, and I have all three of them because I am determined to eventually own every Belleville set that ever came out. It's actually a bit more than most people think it is because Belleville came out between 1994 and 2008, which is a long span. They just didn't put out a lot each year. You know, with Friends, um, it's like an obscene amount of sets that they release <laughs> every year. And with Belleville, it was just a few sets here and there. But for 14 years, they do add up, and I don't think they were well distributed in the United States or well advertised, so it makes getting them very difficult. I actually was looking last night on Bricklink at the list of sets I still have left to get for Belleville, and I think maybe two of the ones I was looking at, there were any for sale in the United States, but for the most part, there were either none for sale, or they were all in like the Netherlands, or like maybe some European countries. So kind of a bummer there because it's going to take a long time to eventually get all of them. But 
I'll show you the different parts of this set because they are amazing. I love them. I'll show you the figures first. We'll get those knocked out of the way because I know those are everyone's favorites. I do love the chrome blue crown that she comes with. I think that's really cool. And the little skates. Also really unique. And our little prints here. Really love the skis in this dark turquoise color and the ski poles. The poles could be used for something different and that would be a really nice unique color to get those in. And we've got our king. I don't know why the crowns never work very well for these. They are very loose and the little tab inside that's supposed to kind of connect to the head. It's like it's too shallow or something. But a nice classic chrome sword and I love the chrome crown for him as well. This is a really unique figure. I'm not sure if he comes in any other set or not. Off the top of my head, I don't know that he comes in any other set, but a really cool polar bear. Love that. That was one of the more expensive pieces I had to purchase for this set because I think he was only in this set, but if not, very rare, so very hard to get. And there's also this um, like butterfly clip piece in the back here, and I think if I remember correctly from Bricklink's listing, they consider this to be a hair clip, like you're actually supposed to be able to use it <laughs> to clip in your hair. So I guess as a little kid that would be fun. These were in several sets during this era. Unique animal piece there. I love this light post. Again, that dark turquoise color is beautiful. And this is already one of my favorite pieces, so to see it in this color is just amazing. Great piece there. So in the front, there's this large kind of corner piece in translucent light blue. And so that just rests in the front there. And that's to mimic the look of ice so that you can go ice skating on this piece. So kind of a plain piece there. You know, they didn't add anything to it, but that's why it's supposed to be for your figure to be able to go ice skating on that piece. And I love that piece. If you're ever doing any kind of ice related mock or, you know, anything winter themed, this would be a great piece to invest in just because it's a solid piece that's translucent light blue. I also love this structure as well. These arches are some of my favorites and the translucent medium blue roof piece is just gorgeous. I believe again another piece that's only in this set. That piece wasn't even in a lot of sets. A lot of times it was sand green and in Harry Potter sets but definitely a more rare piece from this era. Got a couple of little pine trees. I like the little flowers. They've added decorative flower elements all over. The table here in the back has some really cool little cake pieces. I think those are so cute. A little bit more on the expensive side if you're looking to buy them individually. We've also got little ice cream scoops in light yellow in these great translucent light blue goblets. So you get a few of those. And then another one of my favorite pieces are the classic jug in a rare color there. On this end you get a little hanger with a skirt on it so it's interchangeable for your figure to wear when she's not ice skating. We've got these really cute bunk beds so those little fabric pouches are really cute and they come in pink and blue you know, for the little prince and the little princess. It's adorable there. And then I love these, you know, again, seen in a lot of Harry Potter sets, these roof pieces, and they come with those gorgeous snowflakes on top. These jewels are actually translucent medium blue, and that's probably one of the more expensive colors that the jewels come in. I've seen them for upwards of a few dollars a piece if you're needing to replace them. At the time that I was on Bricklink and purchasing parts for this set, which again wasn't that long ago, but maybe 2017, 2018, I 
don't know if it's been because of the pandemic or what, but I feel like prices on there have been steadily going up. It was much more affordable at the time to part this set out than I feel like it would be right now. I don't know if there's a bigger call for Belleville sets right now or what. I've just had a really hard time finding anything Belleville related in the last year to two years. But if you're wanting this set, I am going to say it's going to be pretty challenging to get, unfortunately. I did look on Bricklink. I think there was only one for sale in the entire world right now, and I don't think it was even complete. And I, I think it was somewhere like maybe in Germany or somewhere like that. So if you're in the US, not available. I think it was available from at least one, if not a couple sellers on eBay, but going for well over $100, somewhere like $150 to $200 range for a complete set on eBay. And I mean, this set is only 150 pieces, so you're gonna end up paying about a dollar a piece if you break it down that way. So definitely on the more expensive end. But if you find someone who has had Belleville stashed away, you know, from their childhood and they're getting rid of it and you can get it for a good deal, then absolutely one of my all-time favorite sets. I will always recommend this set because I love it. I'm glad to have it as an adult now. It was one of those kind of sets that I thought I might not ever get to own just because it was already expensive the moment it was discontinued. But super happy to own this set and if you get the opportunity, definitely check it out. For watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. See you next time! If you'd like a t-shirt like the one I'm wearing, go to my webpage link in the description and click the merch button.